Agentic AI is all about having agency. The purpose of Agentic AI is actually to do things on your behalf. When we started, we had ChatGPT, where what you would do is you would ask a question and it would give you an answer. With Agentic, AI goes further, builds on top of that, and also takes the initiative. Agents that can reason, they use statistical models to come up with the answers. And, and it seems like they are reasoning. They can use all these sources of algorithms and information to come up with a conclusion. It's not exactly the same type of reasoning that we usually apply to humans, but we can say that they reason. Uh, and they are being used. For instance, in the translation industries, there is a lot of usage of these models. Developers are using these agents to help them build applications and to help them evolve the applications faster. ChatGPT gives you a lot of examples of code and, and you can look at it and use it as a base for your work. Usually the answer, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for you to get started. And now there are these new tools that are also agentic in the sense that they take actions for you. For instance, there are editors that look into your source code and determine if they believe you need a refactoring or not. If they, they determine it would be a good choice to do it, they can do it for you automatically without any intervention. In legal, you analyze legal documents with these models because they have this capacity to take a lot of information and summarize it into something that's very easy uh, to digest and to understand. You can use them in autonomous decision making. An example, if you have an agent that's looking into your calendar and then there's an action to send you a Slack message with a briefing for the next meeting, but it, it can go beyond that, and for instance, through robotics. And that's going to be very exciting because I think it's valuable if, if we combine the powers of AI and the powers of human. I think the true power is in the partnership between different types of capabilities, of skills, and of ways of seeing the world. So I prefer to have the, the robots more, let's say, less emotional and more analytical, and have us as humans uh, be the artists, have the emotions, and, and see the world from that perspective.